In round four, we'll change to white yarn. Break the brown yarn. Take out the white yarn. Wrap the white yarn around your fingers. Pinch the yarn tail and the fabric together like this. In round four, start with one chain stitch. Then work 15 single crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Wet yarn on the hook and put the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Tighten the yarn tail. Then work 15 single crochets. Work one single crochet in each stitch. Finish 15 single crochets in total. Put the yarn tails above the hook during crocheting. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Yarn and hook pull through both loops. Once the crochet is done, mark the first stitch. Continue to work one single crochet in each stitch. Put the yarn tails above the hook. Leave this yarn tail alone. Let's continue. Fifteen single crochets are done. Work one slip stitch in the mark stitch to join this round. Insert hook into this mark stitch, hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop. Round four is done. In round five, we'll change to coffee yarn. Break this yarn. Take out the coffee yarn. Wrap the yarn around your fingers. Pinch the yarn tail and the fabric together like this. In round 5, work 1 chain stitch, 15 single crochets, and 1 slip stitch. Coffee yarn on the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's 1 chain stitch. Tighten up. Work 1 single crochet in each stitch. Finish 15 single crochets in total. Put the yarn tails above the hook during crocheting. Once some crochet is done, mark the first stitch. Continue to work once some crochet in each stitch. Put the yarn tails above the hook.
Okay. Fifteen some crochets are done. Work one slip stitch. Round five is done.